Hello everyone. Today I'd like to share with you the tape binding foot. Mine happens to be adjustable, but there are just standard quarter inch, half inch, etc. type feet. You can see the screw here. If I turn this little wheel, it adjusts, it'll move the guide larger or smaller depending on what I need. What I'm going to show you is the biggest size, so we're going to turn him all the way out. Mine is also a snap-on foot, so it's really easy to assemble. But I wanted you to see, you might have to look at the pictures, but this piece of plastic on the bottom has an opening right here where I could slide my fabric in between. And then my binding tape actually goes in this slot. It'll fold in half, and one edge will go in the groove on the top, and the other down here. So, I'm gonna take, this is a piece of double fold quilt binding, just straight from the package. And I'll show you what I mean. One edge will go on the bottom other edge on the top and then you just slide it through it'll come out on the bottom of the press foot and you can see it just slides along in that little channel then I can take my extra piece of fabric Let's pretend if I'm doing a blanket. This would be the blanket piece. We'll go in between, just like that. And then I have a sandwich binding fabric binding. And it'll all feed right through. At one, at one time. You do want to make sure that your needle is positioned properly, left, right, centered, for how close you would like it stitching to the edge of the binding. We're going to move it over there just a little, put it down into the fabric, and then show you how. Wiggle the fabric in there, line it up a little, fold down my top, and then you just stitch. And you can see top and the bottom just by feeding it in along the guides it lined everything up. Now you can also take a piece of single fold bias tape, this one's actually really tiny, and feed it through without ironing it in half. So I'm going to adjust the screw on this one to make it the smallest size and then show you how this one will work. Now I've adjusted the screw to the width of my binding and you can see I didn't bother to iron it in half, it's just got the single folds that come when it's packaged. I'm going to just pinch it in half as it goes through and guide it just along the channel. I'm not going to put fabric in because it's so small. Um, we'll just pretend we're making ties or a drawstring, something like that. But you just stitch again. After you put the press foot down. I'm 
And there you can see it folded in half for me and stitched it close. I could have had my stitches a little further. There we go. A little closer to the edge, but you get the idea. The only thing I suggest is to make sure that you're screwed over, you have the, the guide screw over as close as possible to the, the tape that you're feeding through because if there's if it's just a little too large, it can wiggle around in there a bit. But that's it. As long as you make sure that you adjust it properly. It's a pretty cool addition to your pretzel foot collection. Remember, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment or send me an email, and I will do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching, and happy sewing!